Helldivers, what's going on? It's Kodiak here. Welcome back to Legacy Gaming. We have got some huge news to talk about because a new leak revealed that clans could be coming to the game. This is huge if true, and honestly, such an important step in not only evolving Helldivers community-centric approach, but also giving players new tools to engage with their friends. Just think about how much fun we've had with Helldivers since it's launched, and now think of that context with your friends, and then think about connecting all of those friends under an umbrella, tying rewards to that, progression. There is so much the team could do with a potential clan system. Now, all of this is coming from a data miner who has located a string of text that potentially reveals the plan to implement a clan system in the future. As always, when it comes to leaks, we have to take things with a huge grain of salt. This could happen, it could not happen, and of course, there is no timeline. This could be real and it could happen tomorrow. It could also not be real and never happen, right? So that spectrum of real to fake, now to in the future, we have to keep that whole spectrum in mind. Now, if you really think about it, clans make a whole lot of sense considering the massive co-op emphasis this game has, as well as the entire Galactic War system and how clans could potentially factor into that. Think of the content implications for a second. If they plan on doing larger group style raids or events in the future, a clan system makes a whole lot of sense. Right now, the game is limited to just four Helldivers. The team could easily expand that. Given the success of the game since launch and the additional resources that have come into the studio, a clan system is not only ambitious, it is realistic. The leak string had a ton of juicy text lines that allude to potential major systems. Clan level, clan rewards, member ranks, leaderboards, and station move. All of those seem to be important. There are UI elements going around showing stacks of medals as well, and people have been speculating that these indicate that they are going to sell medals, but I argue that these images are for clan rewards, bulk amounts of medals that your clan can earn. There is also a UI element that's spreading around that shows what looks to be the appropriate icons for a ranking system. That would make sense, ranking your clan up or having individual rankings within a clan. There is also this War Updates image. The only thing I want to draw your attention to is the field that says Company Members. Does this mean our squad that we drop in with or our company is the in-game term for clans? Clans could be such a great outlet to sync resources into, like extra samples, requisition, etc. because between patches, those resources build up and eventually cap out. It would be nice to have something else where you could spend these even if it was a resource dump. An example would be spending 1,000 requisition and converting it to one metal, or investing in clan upgrades. There really is no ceiling here because there is so much potential. You could even flip this and make it a war effort type of thing, where players can sink resources into aiding the galactic war. Now, I'm sure a fair number of you are sitting on max requisition or even potentially medals. I would love to know your thoughts on what you would want to do with those resources if a system like this was to come to the game. Leave us a comment down below and share your thoughts. Now, you might be asking yourself, where would all of this take place? Is there going to be some sort of clan hub system in the form of a new super destroyer? Or will our current ships expand in size? Now, while the former would be awesome, I am with you there, I'm betting on the latter for several reasons. As you know, you can upgrade your ship modules and they will actively change the appearance of your ship. And according to some recent images that we've seen, the space they occupy also expands. We have images of the ship showing the current highlighted sections that correspond to our ship's management page. Maybe more of them could be added in the future. Currently, we only have access to three tiers in the game right now, but we know that there will be at least five at some point based on these images. This is all interconnected and paves the way for the introduction of more sample types as new areas open up and additional difficulties and factions are added. While combing through audio files, there were all sorts of different sample callouts that we heard. Of course, you know samples collected, rare sample collected, uranium acquired. But these next ones are new and we have no idea what they're tied to in game, but they certainly have captured our attention. Crystallized E710 is a very peculiar one. At the time of making this video, there is an active major order that points out E710, so my thinking is that once we complete that major order, we might have access to a new sample type and possibly new ship upgrades. We also heard of other things like black saffron, high value sample, biological sample, 
Tech Sample, and Legendarium. All of this could be tied to in-game systems, or as I said before, it could be nothing. Sticking with ship management for a second, we know that this system is going to go much deeper and that further upgrades will be added to the game. And we have all five images here to show the progression and that actually opens up an entirely new room. This could very well be the same case for clan spaces. Anyone who's familiar with Warframe knows that there are things called clan dojos and I'm thinking that we may be moving in that direction. Ultimately, Clans are going to be a huge win for this game, not only connecting friends, but also creating a different type of social structure within the game and allowing the Helldivers 2 team with all of those new resources to create new experiences for the player. Right now, they are limited to four players dropping into a mission, but what if they could expand that to eight players, 16 players? Think of all the things that they could do. We talked a little bit about this in our wishlist video a while back, so if you haven't checked that out, do give it a watch because I think some things are still relevant. At the end of the day, I think clans would be fantastic for this game, not only interconnecting the community, but also raising the stakes at what type of content the team could deploy. Let me know your thoughts about clans in the comment section below. Do you like the game the way it is now, or do you think that clans would elevate it even further? Of course, we always wanna see the game evolve, but as always, we wanna also know what the community thinks. So leave us a comment and share your thoughts. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.